Hello all, welcome back to Public Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create Salesforce record for Webflow form submission. So are you also using Webflow for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So right ahead, I'm doing the same. I'm running an edutech company. And for that, I have set up my website with the help of my Webflow. And I collect student inquiries for the same. So now what I want is that as soon as a new form is submitted, automatically with the help of the same submission details, a new record should be created in my Salesforce too. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between Webflow and Salesforce. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So I'm going to do all of this so that I can convert my leads into paying clients. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to understand how to create Salesforce record on on Webflow form submission. So as you know that I'm running an edutech company and I've set up a Webflow form on my website to collect the student inquiries. So now what I want is that whenever someone submits the form, I want their details to be automatically create a new record in Salesforce. So yeah, this way I don't have to manually enter their details and my sales team can quickly follow up with the right course information, making the entire process more efficient and ensuring we never miss a potential student. So to do all of this, I have simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you're a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in right over here. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account. And as soon as we are going to click on access now, it is opening my dashboard. And to start with this automation, we are going to click on this button. It says create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder, which is automations. And I want to name my workflow as... How to create Salesforce record for Webflow form submission. And then we are going to click on create. And as soon as we are going to click on create, it is opening the most important window of our automation, which is our workflow window. So this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this. Trigger means when this happens. An action means do this. So by this, you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and the actions are the follower of that command. So as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger and now to start with our automation we have to select our trigger application so for my trigger application i'm going to select it as webflow right over here because i want that as soon as a new form submission is made in my webflow automatically my workflow should be triggered so i'm going to search for webflow and then we are going to select webflow v1 and now it is asking me for the trigger event so trigger event means on the event when the workflow will start or trigger so we have on that as soon as a new form is submitted automatically my workflow should start or trigger so as soon as we are going to select the trigger event it is giving me a webbook url so we are going to copy this webbook url first and then we are going to follow this help text so we are going to use this webbook url in order to create a connection between our webflow account and our pabli's workflow so i'm going to follow this help text one by one so it is saying log into your webflow account go to dashboard go to project settings so i'm going to open my webflow account and as you can see that this is my account and over here are two projects that I've already created. So I'm going to create this automation for this project. So I'm going to use this only. For that, we are going to go to site settings of this project. And then from the left side bar, we have to go on apps and integrations. And as soon as we are going to open this over here, we are going to scroll and as you can see, webbooks. So yes, this is where we have to come. And now as you can see that I've already added a webbook URL right over here once. But I'm going to add a new for that. I'm going to click on add webbook. And now it is asking me for the trigger type. So over here, you can see that it is saying to select the trigger type as form submission. So I'm going to select the same as form submission and now it is asking me for the API version. So I'm going to select it as API v1 and now it is asking me for the webbook URL. So we are going to paste the URL that we copied from our workflow. And after doing all of this, I'm going to click on add webbook. And as soon as we are going to click on add webbook, yes, you can see that we have successfully added a webbook URL right over here. So this means that we have successfully created a connection between our webflow account and our Pabli's workflow. But first what we have to do is we have to publish 
this form again after adding the webhook url in order to save the process so i'm going to click on publish right over here and we are going to publish this and now you can see that it is saying publishing in progress and yes site published successfully so yes we have successfully published this so now we have successfully created the connection but over here you can see that it is saying waiting for webhook response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this webhook response we have to do a test submission and in order to do this test submission what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my website form right from here so i'm going to open it and as you can see that this is the same so i'm going to go on the forms and as you can see so i'm going to fill in the demi details right over here and do the test submission so let's suppose that i'm going to keep the first name as dummy last name as user email as dummy lead 22 at the rate pablityouths.com and for the phone number i'm going to keep it as this and after entering these details i'm going to click on submit and as soon as we are going to click on submit yes you can see that we have successfully did the test submission and now this means that webflow has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow so i'm going to put my workflow and yes you can see that probably has captured the response for the same over here you can see the response a and you can see all the details that we entered you can see the first name the last name the phone number and the email that we entered so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and we have successfully captured the response also for the details that we entered so yeah this means that we have successfully connected our webflow account with our Pabli's workflow and now what i want is that as soon as we receive the new lead details from this form submission automatically with the help of the same details a new salesforce record should be created so now for my action application i'm going to select it as salesforce so i'm going to search for salesforce right over here and as you can see the same so we are going to select it and after selecting this it is asking me for the action event so over here we are going to select the action event as create record and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to do so over here you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your salesforce account with your Pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with salesforce and as soon as we are going to click on connect with salesforce over here you can see that all the permissions for which Pabli is asking so i'm going to click on allow right over here and give Pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with Pabli. You can also click on allow Pabli save and as soon as we are going to click on allow you can see authorization successful. So yeah this means that we have successfully connected our Salesforce account with our Pabli's workflow and over here you can also see connected and now it is saying Salesforce object. So where we want to create this record. So I want to create this as lead so I'm going to select the same right over here lead and as soon as we are going to select it as lead over here you can see it is asking me for the last name, first name and many another details. So we are going to map all of these details. So mapping is a method by Pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step. And as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected Webflow as a trigger application. So we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only. And as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received. So I am going to give you an example. Over here it is asking me for the last name right. So let's suppose that I am going to enter the last name right over here like you user manually by typing it then this will not change with every new response received because this is a static information and I've entered it manually but if you are going to map this from the previous response suppose I'm going to open the response and over here you can see the last name so let's suppose that we are going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time so we are going to map the first name too I'm going to look for first name and as you can see dummy so we are going to map it we're going to move on forward it is asking me for the details like this so as you can see both of these are not the required details so i'm going to leave it as blank over here you can see that it is asking me for the company so i'm going to enter the company as pabli right over here manually we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the street city and many another details so we are only going to fill in the required details we are going to fill in the phone right over here so i'm going to look for phone and as you can see the same so we are going to fill it we're going to fill in the email too i'm going to look for email right over here and as you can see that this is my email so we are going to fill it in and after doing this we are going to move on forward you can see many details over here you can see the lead source i'm going to keep it as web over here you can see the status so as you can see that all of these details are not the required details and there are many details so if you wish you can definitely fill this out but as these are not the required details so i'm going to leave it as blank and click on save and send test request directly if you have the details of your leads suppose these then you can definitely fill this out and yes as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request yes you can see 
success. So this means that we have received a positive response and we have successfully created a new record in our Salesforce with the same details. So I'm going to open my Salesforce account and check for the new record created. But before moving towards our Salesforce, again, I'll just let you know that I've only filled in the required details or the details I wish to. If you want, you can fill in all the details too. And after doing this, I'm going to open my Salesforce and check for the new record created. So I'm going to open it. We are going to go on leads right from here. And now over here, you can see in the recent items, dummy user. So I'm going to open it. And yes, you can see name dummy user. Over here, you can see the phone number that we entered and the email. So yes, with this, we have successfully created a new record from the Webflow form submission. So yes, with this, our workflow is successful. But I'll just test this workflow once. And this time, I'm going to give you a real-time example. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open my form again. And we're going to do another test submission. So I'm going to open my form right from here. We are going to go on forms. We are going to do another test submission with the new details. So for the first name, I'm going to keep it as test. Last name as user, email as test user 22 at the rate publicdudes.com. And for the phone number, we are going to keep it as this. And then we are going to click on submit. And as soon as we are going to click on submit, yes, again, you can see that we have successfully did another test submission. And now this means that Webflow has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow, probably captured the response, triggered the workflow, and further created a new Salesforce record. So yeah, this time we are going to open our Salesforce directly and check for the new record created. This time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on save and send as request. I'll directly open my Salesforce right from here. We are going to go on leads again and look for the recent item. So I'm going to refresh this first. And yes, you can see over here recent item test user. So I'm going to open this right from here. And as soon as we are going to open this, you can see the name that we entered. You can see the phone number and the email that we entered. So yes, we have successfully created a new record in our Salesforce with the same details that we entered right over here in our Webflow form submission. So yes, with this, we have successfully completed our workflow and we've also tested this workflow once in real time and it is working perfectly fine. So yes, with this, we have successfully completed our workflow and I'll just summarize this workflow for you once. So for the trigger application, we selected Webflow. For the trigger event, we selected new form submission. For the action application, we selected Salesforce and then for the action event, we selected create record because I wanted that as soon as a new submission is made in my Webflow, automatically with the help of the same details, a new record should be created in my Salesforce too. So with the help of this automation, I don't have to manually enter details and my sales team can quickly follow up with the right course information, making the entire process more efficient and ensuring we never miss a potential student. And with the help of this workflow, maybe we can convert our potential students into paying students. So yes, with this, we have successfully completed our workflow. And over here, you can see the two records I created during this video with the help of my workflow. One is dummy user and the another one is test user. So yes, this was it for the video. And if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow, you can directly comment on this video. And for the reference, I'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli, you can integrate many more applications. So now, if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.